Something I've always hated within HeLa discussions and guides is when people use the terms reactive and proactive. Not because the words in themselves are wrong to use or even irrelevant. No, they're actually very useful when correctly used. My issue is due to people always using a very inaccurate generalization of pure healers are reactive, while shield healers are proactive healers. On the surface, this might seem fine and something to not even worry about. You might even agree with the statement. That's just literally how healing works. Pure healers focus more on recovering lost HP, so they're reactive. Shield healers prevent damage with their shields, so they're proactive about damage. Literally accurate, but the issue is the nuance of things. Obviously, there's some clear overlap between all of this. White Mage and Astrologian have damage reduction tools and HP shields. Scholar and Sage have some very strong peer healing tools. This isn't the problem, though. The words can be useful in the right context, but the context is almost always wrong. People aren't talking the literal meaning, they're asking or explaining how the healers work to play. We might assume people can parse the info they're given and not overthink it. Over the years of playing, I've seen some of the most basic elements of things get confused or distorted. So telling people White Mage reacts to damage sets up some people for failure. They're going to entirely play the game with the mindset of always reacting to healing. A playstyle that only gets you so far. Then shield healers end up only being proactive, struggling the moment something goes wrong. I want to entirely rewrite this idea. Low-end and inexperienced healing is when a healer is being reactive. High-end and skilled healers are playing mostly proactively. Some overlap always exists between these two. It's not about which healer you're playing, it's about content and skill level. The most obvious example is Astrologian. Even more so than White Mage, you have a lot of things going on. You have a lot of buttons, even ignoring cards. You just naturally have a ton of tools. Using them all reactively makes them less effective by a large measure, especially the most obvious example of Earthly Galaxy. It has a minimum 10 second charge up time. Activating it prematurely is at least 180 potency of healing lost. And if it crits the heal? That's even not taking the damage into account either, since healer DPS can matter for kill times and needing less healing. You have so many tools you can spend across multiple pools, but you might spend a little too much on the first pool if you're not thinking ahead. Thinking ahead, planning, healing proactively. You might be throwing heals out based on the tank's HP bar, but you've planned what buttons in what order. On the reverse end of things, we have the proactive healing idea. People bring up how you're planning how you prevent damage because that's what your skills are mainly built on but even the best laid plans are prone to failure. You're most often playing with random players. A tank who understands how to wall to wall can at the same time not understand how to properly rotate their cooldowns. So you're gonna use these tools for this pull, all right, fine. Second pull, tank goes in with no more tools and all mitigation is on you. You planned ahead and only have a bit of mitigation since normally the tank has some of their own. Now they're dying and you have to fix it. Your plan isn't enough. You at the least need to spam GCD healing alongside your plan. Maybe have to change the plan up. Suddenly you're healing completely moment to moment. You're reacting. Boiling it down so far as to proactive and reactive as how the two healer types work, ignore how actually healing ends up working and how random players can be. Every roulette you do, you have to be ready to just throw every plan you have out the window. When your tank is good, it pays to have a plan to capitalize on their skill. Stuff like the God Pool of Mount Golg aren't something you can do reliably with complete random skill usage. You plan and execute. The nature of low-end content requires you to be ready to react to whatever it gives you. As you become a better player, you'll learn how to plan what to use for each pool and how to break those plans when you need to. Moving into higher tier content, plans tend to be pretty rigid. You might have a few options for your plans based on party composition or such, but you're not going to just use whatever if you want a high success rate. This works for progression and just making sure you see more of the fight, but after a point you're wasting tools you'll need for the next mechanic, so you might just wipe from a lack of tools and need to start making a plan. 
you can't really do much reacting in the high end. A death you might be able to quick swift cast raise, but you're probably not deviating your plan. Even when you have to do something more major and shift some of your tools around due to someone wasting theirs, you're trying to minimize how much you deviate from the plan. This is also something you mostly only do in a static environment. Party Finder, you often have to just trust your co-healer did the right thing. If they messed up, they might not even tell you. Typing mid-fight is something that's really difficult for a lot of people. You still need to learn how you can deviate and survive what comes next, but you're trying to avoid it. This applies to the pure healers still, even when ignoring their mitigation skills. Something like White Mage's Heal Bush or Astro's Macro Cosmos are amazing tools that do nothing to reduce incoming damage. Their uses are near exclusively planned once you find good spots for them. There's just so much more nuance in healing than what proactive and reactive can mean. It's a generalization that harms more than it helps. At least that's how I feel. You have to give more info, and a lot of people just don't. A new player won't inherently understand these differences. The idea of pure healing and shield healing, meanwhile? That's something they'll have to grasp with or without the proactive and reactive idea. So why don't we focus on that? Maybe I really am just making a mountain out of a molehill, but it's always been something that bothered me. I don't like this phrasing. I've spent a lot of time trying to teach newbies, and something I've learned is some will take things too literally. Something we expect to be obvious will be something another will not understand unless you explain it three times. It's not always intentional. It's not always someone just being stupid. It's taking your words at face value. We should aim to make things as clear as we can, not confused with things that seem simple but have way more nuance. If things are going to end up being taken literally, let's focus on the literal uses and how you can still plan ahead as a pure healer. If you want to see more, please leave a rating, comment, subscribe, bell, check my socials, and especially my Twitch. Take care and may the power of Anne and Idhog's Waste to your enemies.